Alright, hey, what's up everybody? Frank Sausage here, and welcome to my new place. <laughs> Pretty nice in here. I think it's, uh, I think I can definitely call it home. I definitely, uh, I th yeah, I think I can. <laughs> I got my NW here. Yeah, so what's going on everybody? How you been? What's new? I could I could also ask the question, how's it hanging? But you know, I might offend some of you if I ask that question. But then again, I just already asked that question. So, yeah, how's it going? <laughs> Good stuff. Well, not a whole lot new, I guess, in my life as far as what I've been up to. I got the place pretty much looking the way I I want it to look. And I think, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think I can, I can definitely call it home. It's pretty nice over here. Very cozy compared to the other place that I lived at. And, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is a good thing. And I may have said some things about the other house, you know, in the last video. Uh, that probably I shouldn't have said. But, you know, I was only speaking the truth. And a lot of people in the comments, you know, kind of agreed with me, too, about, uh, well, you know, that they agree that it was probably better that I move to a place that's more my own rather than live in a, in a dumpy place anyway. I got to think about that, you know, it's like almost like, you know, if you're a poor person, you know, that's the type of place a poor person would live in. I mean, if you're, if you're the type of person that is stereotypical of poor people or whatever. But, and I'm not rich by any means, but, you know, I just, you know, I like, you know, being neat. I like being clean. I like, you know, I, I, that's just the way I am. You know, I am the way I am. And that's just, you know, I, I, I used to be, you know, when I was a kid, you know, I, my brother and, his, uh, and sister, you know, they would, you know, terrorize me a lot about being neat or whatever, being organized, you know. They, they were not that type of people, you know. My brother is kind of now because he has family now and everything, but my, and my sister is kind of now too, but some when we were growing up together is way different, way different. But uh, but I'm not here to rat on my family or not. Of course not. I'm just here to make a video. Uh, I am going to take your guys' advice. The people who uh, uh, commented on my last video about the USB adapter, that I, I finally decided that's the route I'm going to go. Because uh, I did actually, the landlord over here actually let me borrow her, uh, she had an extra router, to, and I wanted to test it out just to see if it would work, but it didn't work. It, the router, you know, the CD worked and whatnot, but the router, you know, even when I thought it was hooked up and it looked like the internet was going, yeah, it wasn't. So, and I know a lot of people said that a router would not work out anyway unless you had it plugged into a cable modem or whatever. Which I know, because that's what I—that's the type of internet that I had the last time. I had a cable. We had cable internet over there, at uh, my at, at Roger's place. I can say now, my former roommate's place. But uh, he, he, I am definitely going to do that. Uh, I get paid on Friday, and we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go get a USB adapter. I think there's one for like thirty dollars that I, I think will be good enough for it. See, the, the, the benefit that I have about living here is that it's really, you know, as far as living here, it actually, uh, I'm really close to the router. It's just right across, straight across from where I am right now. So that helps a lot, too, as far as getting a really good signal or whatever, being closer to it. If I was farther away, I don't think it would, it would work nearly as good. But thankfully, uh, you know, I'm actually close to it, so it will be just fine. And, you know, I... I'm starting to get adjusted to this new place as far as, you know, this being the first time in almost two years. I'm about two years since, uh, uh, I think it'll be two years next year or next month uh, when I move to mom and dad's place or whatever. And, yeah, I mean, thinking about that, tomorrow, actually, will, if I would have never moved uh, for, out of Thief River here, tomorrow would have been five, you know, April 20th or Wednesday, April 20th. 2011 would have been five years that I've lived in Thief River. And another month on Saturday or on May 6th, whatever day that is, that's on a, probably on a 
That's on a Friday, right? No. That's probably, yeah, that's probably on a Friday. But that day will, will mark, uh, it'll mark uh, five years since my former roommate and I have been friends. Which is kind of weird, I guess. Kind of ironic. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's kind of one of those things, you know, adjusting to the uh, new life almost. It's like, I, f I feel like, like I've just moved back to town like I've never lived here before. Like I, or like I, you know, this is a whole new environment. Even though I've been around this area pretty much all my life, but it just feels like when you live in a different, uh, your surroundings are different, that you got to readjust or whatever, kind of. And hopefully now this will be the last time I have to move somewhere, you know, because I'm not really a fan of moving all the time, unless, you know, it benefits like this. To yeah, have a, a place where I can actually call my own, that actually is pretty neat. Uh, I, I, you know, the thing is, you know, in the past, I made some mistakes that kind of cost me, you know, probably cost me jobs or cost me, you know, nice delivery arrangements or whatever. And it wasn't anything that I planned to raise like that. It, it was just something, you know, I guess just that, that hint of bad luck, I guess, that was just surrounded me around that time, about 2008 or whatever. And that's kind of where everything kind of went down, you know, the, the spot, downward that word spiral kind of started, I guess I can say. But in in that time, I've learned, you know, a lot from my mistakes. And I hope that those mistakes never happen again. Uh, in October of this year, it'll mark three years since I've been working at Hugo's. And I don't know if that's a lot to, you know, if that's a lot to say or whatever, or, or you know, be proud of or whatever. But the thing is, is like, I for one, I for one just hope that I don't get fired from another job in the future. I mean, I've never, you know, I've rarely ever been fired any, anywhere or any time from any job I've ever had. Uh, the only other time that I've actually been fired from a job that I can remember was back about 11 years ago. It'll be 11 years this summer, uh, June of, you know, I think it was either June or July of 2000 anyway. And I was working at the bait, local bait shop in, in Greenbush, and the, uh, the the owners were just real assholes. Well, I mean, they were some of them were nice, but then you, the, the 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 ones who were like the, the parents that were in charge, yeah, they were just completely. Uh, the, the husband was all right, but still is pretty cool in my book. But then the the, the mother or the wife, you know, was kind of a bitch until they you know she you know lost her business or whatnot, but she fired me just. Just for the sake of just to fire me, you know, there really was no reason. It has not nothing to do with me being slow or not being able to keep up, you know. Because I thought I knew I was doing a good job and all that, but yeah, I just kind of one of those things and whatnot. But other than that, I mean, I've never, as far as I know, I've never been fired from any other job in my entire life prior to the job at Bose's Bait and then the job. At the casino, but you know, I mean, I guess that's just how we all learn, more or less. See, so what else can I say here? I want to make this kind of a, just like a, a quick little update here, you know, kind of give you guys kind of a. I was uh, keeping track of uh, everybody should go and subscribe or uh, whoever hasn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody that uh, you know normally watches my videos or has, has responded to my videos or whatever, or or, or left comments anyway. Uh, go check out Brendan Mitchell's uh, Way Down video. Now, I don't know if this is going to help at all, but I know that this is, was this one guy who all of a sudden got all these subscribers. You know, he had like hardly any views or whatever. I think, what was it, like maybe 1,400 views or something like that or, or something? I mean, he wasn't, it's was probably less than that. And all of a sudden, he struck gold and got over 19,000 subscribers, which will definitely help in a situation like this. Uh, this guy who was also entered in the contest has like all of a sudden now he's going to get in first place all of a sudden. He like was a nobody, you know, in the beginning, but all of a sudden now he's like going to be well known or something like that, you know. And I don't think that's right. I really don't think that's right, you know. Brendan, you know, Brendan is not a rich man. Uh, obviously, I've never hung out with the guy. I would love to if I if I lived real close to him or you know li even live in the same apartment like where he lives. I'd hang out with him probably every day, you know, 
and we, we'd start our film production or something. We'd do something fun anyway. And then the fact that Sean Phillips is over there, you know, everybody keeps asking, you know, if I was ever going to, if I, I ever thought of the idea of moving to California to do stuff like that. If I knew I could financially do it and not have to worry about money, I, I'd go on a heartbeat. I'd leave Thief Fibber in a heartbeat, quit my job at Hugo's, and say bye-bye to everybody else, and I'm not coming back until I'm, until I'm actually famous or until I actually got some money or whatever. But if I had money, or even if I had, I don't know, maybe if I had like $20,000 saved up or, or like even, you know, $2,000 or something saved up or whatever where I could actually go to California and see if we could make something happen, then I probably would definitely do it. But, uh, but I've never been to California. The closest I've ever been to the West Coast was almost three years ago next month when I went to Astoria, Oregon. And that was the only time I've ever been to the West Coast in my entire life. Uh, I know my mom and all that. She's been to the West Coast many times to Seattle and all that stuff. But I've, you know, I've never been. You know, that's the first time I've ever been to the West Coast at all in my entire life. Hopefully, I'll go back again sometime. But, you know, it was just because I wanted to go see the Goody House and everything else. So, but, yeah, Brendan is not a rich guy by any means. You know, yes, he has a big DVD collection. Yes, he has a big Blu-ray collection. Yes, he, he loves film and everything like that. But see, the thing is, because he works at Blockbuster, and I don't, you know, and I think it's a lot harder to get another job, and especially when he lives in lo close to Los Angeles. You figure that it would be, but you know, he, he, and he, uh, the fact that he lives with his parents all that too, that's kind of hard for him to kind of. I don't know. I mean, it, it, I I would hate to see the day where what movie could not do any more videos because of his, you know, because of the fact that his. You know, he can't afford to, they can't even afford internet, you know. You know, even if it was wireless, they could, still couldn't, you know, afford it. You know, let alone electricity or anything else. I don't know what type of deal he gets, you know, for, for the internet or whatever, for his uh, rent or whatever. But the thing is, we all know that Brandon's not that rich, you know. Why, why he spends all his money on movies all the time, I have no idea. He loves film, but sometimes, you know, a person can spend so much, too much on stuff like that. You know, you got to balance your life out a little bit. You can't just be buying. I mean, I wish I could buy movies like that all the time, too. But I know that I can't, you know, because I have other responsibilities. But anyway, and I'm not trying to you know, say that he's, you know, no, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just trying to just make this little video, just just let you guys know what's up and whatever. And, but anyway, go and see, so, uh, subscribe to Wet Movie if you haven't. But also, I'm going to put the link down below. Check out the video, the way down video. The contest ends on the 22nd, which is, what is that day? What day is it today? It's the 19th today? So, I guess Friday. Would that be right? I think that would be right. Yeah, this Friday. Two days before Easter, on the day I get paid or whatever. The contest would be over. Hopefully he wins. Hopefully he wins. I would love... You know, I would be so proud of the guy if, if I knew that he had a chance to win. You know, and even if he did win, you know, a lot of people could say, "Oh, I wish that guy would win." I, you know, whatever. You know, and and, and wh whether they mean it or not, you know, most of the time when people say that, they say that just to make conversation or whatever. But, but I think because you know, Wet Movie definitely deserves it, and his family deserves it. You know, to win ten thousand dollars, and you got all the support. You know, all the people. All the people that, that watch his videos and stuff, as well as I do, I mean, he even got me as part of his favorite cha you know, favorites on his channel list or whatever, you know. So, yeah, I definitely like the guy. <laughs> uh, I would love to see the guy just win the ten thousand dollars because you know it would help a lot with with them and get them caught up because he already kind of said kind of what he would do with the money if he if he were to win it. And see, this is another thing I don't know, like. I don't know how they do this, like, if they send all the money right away, like, in a big check, or or maybe that Renegade Fox guy would actually come over or whatever and, and present them with the money. I don't know how they do it. Hopefully, you know, they get all the money right away, you know. But then, wouldn't it be cool if Wet Movie, you know, all of a sudden he, he wins the $10,000, and I don't know how many subscribers this Renegade Fox has, but if, if, if because he won... That all that he would get all types of subscribers. He would be the next YouTube celebrity. He would be next to the Shake Tards or even next to Cool Dude or next to somebody who's been on YouTube for a long time and actually puts efforts in his videos. 
you know, a lot of people talk bad about the shade tires, but I, 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 I am a big fan of the shade tires. I have nothing bad to say. I think uh, this is what uh, the shade tires to me are, 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 are people that are, might have connections as far as you know they, they get to go everywhere. They get you know they have money and everything, but that's a job that all of us would want. You know who do video and take it seriously. But the shade tires are people that actually can say I enjoy. I watch all their videos, and they they definitely earn. I mean, they're, they're everything that you would want in in almost like a, a reality TV show kind of like you know. I think it's funny. I, I think they they do a good job. And there's always life lessons along the way that you won't find with maybe Charles Trippy or Shane Dawson or whatever. That's what I like the life lessons. You know, I love the humor. You know, even the dirty humor, but the life lessons are the best. You know, sometimes Shay and his family will talk about life lessons because they're really religious and stuff too. You know, it might not seem like they are, but you know that they are. And, you know, cause just because of the way they're brought up. Anyway, so so go check out his video or Wet Boys video. I'll put it down below. I mean, I have it auto played on my channel. I wish I had like four billion subscribers, and then he'd be he'd win automatically. You know, just by that, but. Yeah, I guess there's only so much you can do, but uh, good luck to you, Brendan, and, and uh, I hope, hope you do win, because that would definitely be a victory for, it, it not just be a victory for you, but it'd be a victory for all of us, you know, for all the smaller people who, you know, try hard to get noticed and whatever, and try our best, you know, to do what we could to, to you know, keep YouTube alive, I guess, you know. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got to say. Sorry if you guys were bored. But I really didn't really have much planned. I, I'm going to be getting my USB adapter here on Friday. And then uh, we'll definitely continue where we left off with the videos. As far as uh, the, I think the next video that I will do it will either be a Around the Town video or part two of the Ultimate DVD update. So stay tuned for all that. And I might even uh, next week, maybe depending on how well it goes, do a tour, an actual tour of the whole motel complex uh, for you guys. So... You want to stay tuned for all that stuff. So until then, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you next time.